cool. Um, Testing audio. Testing audio. Great, audio is there, good. Testing audio. Great, audio is there, good. Testing audio. Great, audio is there, good. OK. Stuck in a loop. Okay, got everything set up there. Awesome, good to see you all, hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome, welcome in. Let's get started. Uh, I'm gonna grab and open up the music. And make sure everything is working there. OBS is working correct. All right, got the video capture going. Got the audio from that. And I got the Desktop audio happening, looks like. Let that load. Load up the DAW. Hope you're all having a great day today. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining me. Excited to be working on some music. Let me get the. Let me quickly.
Let's fix that. There we go. Here I am. Awesome. Great. We're good to go. Got some food in the oven. I gotta check it in like 10 minutes, so let's stop and do that. There we go. Here I am. Awesome. Great. We're good to go. Got some food in the oven. I gotta check it in like 10 minutes, so let's stop and do that. There we go. Here I am. Awesome. Great. Oh, I got an echo. No echoes. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Working on it. Hey, Zion, good to see you. Hello, Zion. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, I'm just letting this buffer and load a little bit because um, I have a lot of tracks open uh, today for this. As you can see, 18 of them. 18 tracks for this piece. So we started this yesterday on live stream, and I'm excited to be back again today working on this. Um, uh, with most genre of music like this, this is an action track, uh, 140s tempo, and I am doing kind of a mix, a loose mix metering. It's 4-4 I'm composing in, but I'm purposely putting accents on on various beats, kind of trying to break up so it doesn't feel like it's four on the floor, one, two, three, four, it feels like it's a little more rhythmically varied. Um, here, I have my percussion, and to make that a little more visually distinctive, make them orange, and uh, I have some uh, some wonderful um, effects here. Let's see, um, the male choir will be blue. I have a bunch of scents here, uh, which are really neat sounding. I'll show those off in a second, and then I have a bunch of. Um, a few other, a few other like low bassy scents as well. Um, this is very dissonant because <laughs> it is action music, so it's quite tense and dark and really drum pounding. I'll play it for you in a second. It kind of has this kind of metallic uh, vibe, which I really like. I mean, it's dystopian, right? So like I'm picturing kind of a Mad Max universe meets Blade Runner. That's the two vibes I'm trying to hit: Mad Max and Blade Runner. So big, epic, over the top, big drums like Mad Max, but then like more of the synthy vibe of Blade Runner put those two together, and that's sort of the vibe I'm going for, for this thing. Um, right, so all of these guys, we will make, I don't know, make these guys green. And then this choir will be blue to match. And then uh, the bass will be purple. And then these three can be something else, I don't know, orange. Nope, 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 nope. Try this again, orange, there we, uh, oh, we already had orange. I'll do orange, let's do blue. That'll work. And you, and you. Cool. There we go. All right. <laughs> uh, not too difficult. Um, nice. Good to see Audio Bellum. Great. Thanks. Welcome in. Not too difficult. Not too difficult. It is um, not that complicated yet. It'll get complicated. More complicated, but um, <laughs> we're not there yet. But I'm excited you're all here. Thanks for joining in. It's so nice to see you all. And I'm excited to be working on this. Okay, enough ado. Let's work on some music, shall we? Um, I'm gonna, I normally work on two screens. I'll have the main screen here, and then I'll have a secondary screen, which I have over here. Um, and I normally would do all the MIDI stuff on the other screen. But then you can't see anything, so I'm going to put it all on one screen. Um, so that'll be how I'll be doing some back and forth. It's a little bit slower. Bear with me. All right, let's, let's, let's get into this. Here is the track. Thank you. 
Okay, so far as I've gotten. Okay, first thing we gotta do is these guys are these guys are awesome. Way too much in terms of of volume. Let me go into this. Yeah, okay. Huh. Uh, make them a little more ethereal and let's bring down the punch just a touch. So better. Okay, so right here, okay, first thing, this section feels dead. This section feels dead. There's nothing happening up top. There's nothing happening here, and the choir needs a break. So what are we going to do here? I know what we're going to do. We are going to grab this replicant synth, and we're going to play with that. Let me grab my keyboard here. Okay. Really standard kind of Blade runner -y sound. Um, I forget, it's the Roland something. I think it's Roland. I could be wrong. It could be Jupiter. There's a number of them, uh, old synths and, uh, from the 80s that were really popular. I forget which one it was that was used. Um, maybe was it the Mini Moog? I'm not 100% sure. But uh, it has that Blade Runner aesthetic. I should know that, but I don't have it in my head right now. Um, okay, right here. So we're going to grab this. This is where it felt dead. It needs something here. Um, what does it need? I think, let me, let me see. So right, right here, that's just where, this is where it felt dead. Um, all right. All right, you're not a very loud synth, are you? You're very meek and mild, and I don't mind that, but I need a little more kick. So I'm going to add a compressor, punchy, pop it up a bit, throw it up here. Yeah, I want it to be way more present. Um, we'll just do a kind of a dissonant cl little cluster here. Okay, so that builds fine. Uh, let's take that down a little bit. Sounding great, moving. Bop, bop. Okay, right here, I want a really, like a real sharp kind of distance. My bad. That was my bad. I apologize for the distortion there. Um, all right, let's bring that in. Let me zoom in here um, and get this to fade in like the rest of them. It felt a little bit weird to have it jarring in. Um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. God, ask, thank you so much. I'm uh, happy to answer questions. Um, this is I've been writing music for 20 years now. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Charles Wolf, Charles Wolf Music. Uh, I've been writing music for 20 years. I held a master's degree in music composition from Texas State University, um, where I studied how to write music. I have a bachelor's in music composition as well. Um, I'm also quite versed in music theory, um, although that's not really on display for this piece. <laughs> uh, I love counterpoint. Uh, that's my favorite thing to write, is doing species counterpoint. Um, I'm a bit of a music nerd that way. Um, and I love writing music of any genre. I, I kind of view music as... If I can get on my soapbox for a second. Um, I view music as music is all connected. 
and every genre that you write in is connected to a different genre. And, and at the end of the day, you're just writing music. In this piece, it's about uh, tone clusters, so groups of notes that are quite dissonant, and, and using sound design. I'm then keeping the drums going as my core. So I kind of have my rhythmic core, pushes things forward. I, I was a percussionist in college. I played piano, and they found that out, and everyone has to play in band, of course, and so they were like, yep, you're going to be a percussionist. And I'm like... But but this is a this is I hit something with this. This is I don't, I don't hit things. I play piano. Well, it's the same. You know, xylophone is the same as a piano. And I'm just like, well, that no, but okay. Uh, so uh, I learned percussion in college. It was great. Um, got to be eventually. I got to be the lead percussionist of the second band, which was nice. And it was a lot of fun. So I learned a lot. So I put a lot of percussion into my music because I like percussion because I played all those instruments. So I'm quite familiar with how they, they operate and what they sound like. This is a lot of like electronic drums and stuff. So it's not like you would get a percussion ensemble to play this, but that is that influence. That's why I do that. Anyways, let's get back to this. Yeah. I'm other percussions too, 100%. Okay, um, I need a fall. I need a big dive. Here's the dive, but I need it to happen high and that kind of thing. I don't know what the highest note it has. Perfect. I want that there. It feels a little bright, so let's bring that down a little bit. Okay, so it's kind of dying out anyways. Um, okay, what does it need? Oh, <laughs> it needs some low perk. That's what it needs. Um, some space fillers. Okay, so how did I pick those? I picked them at random. That's how I picked them. I <laughs> just got there, 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 and there. That's literally all I did. I, it doesn't, when you have textured percussion, having it not be on the downbeat, but having it be filling the space, I'm always wanting there to be movement. And so I'm tra trying to, con I can write four on the floor, you know, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I could do that, but I don't want the percussion to feel that way. I want it to feel more organic, more just like it's like this roiling thing that is just breaking through the sand and coming after you, right? That's the imagery. So uh, I'm picturing this, I'm picturing like, uh, right now I'm playing through, speaking of which, of dystopian future. I'm right, literally right now for the very first time, no spoilers please, but I'm playing through the game um, Horizon Zero Dawn, which has the really cool... Uh, robot dinosaurs and playing as Aloy and going through that universe and uh, the music's great in that game first of all but uh, it, it, it's a very very subtle uh, in, in, in certain ways um, they didn't go full synthy with it they had more of a kind of a tribal meets they had some like electronic drums doosh, 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 doosh. I want to definitely uh, be inspired by that for sure um, but yeah, there's a lot of like textural elements, and that's what I'm uh, listening to and actively playing through that game um, this week. So it's been kind of fun. I'm taking a lighter week this week on social media. Um, it's been a grind the last month. I've been pulling 60-hour weeks the last month and a half, so I need to slow down a little bit. So uh, I'm not quite as social media focused this week as I normally am, but uh, that's okay. You got to ebbs and flows, right? Okay, so, so crazy. Yeah, I know. All right, here we go. Okay, so here, here, I want I want these to be a bit more in your face, and I want these. 
to kind of build. So let's have these build. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Dum bum. Okay, so bum, 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 bum. Okay, and then we're gonna have these push up into that a little bit. Okay, then here, I'm hearing da 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 da. I'm hearing a, a, a line. Da 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 da. Filling in the space, and then put another one here, and see how that sounds. And then that can fill in. It's almost like military drums, but that's fine. I like that. That works. Da, 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 da. That's a classic snare march drum. Okay, so, cool. All right. Take a break. Ah, super nice. All right. Super, super nice. Super awesome. Great. That's all working really, really well. I'm happy. Take a quick, just a quick sip of some liquid ambition here. It's coffee. Ooh. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so let's do this. Um, check something really quick. Okay, um, oops, go back to here, save, awesome, all right, bring that down a little bit so you can see better, okay, reset that a little bit, all right, that's all working, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, uh, we get to here, blah, blah, right, so we've done that, how many times have we done that, blah, blah, twice, okay, so there's a rule of music that I always follow when I'm writing music, which is rule of three, you can do something three times, the fourth time is boring. There's one genre that it breaks that, which is minimalism. And if you're doing kind of ambient background stuff, if it's minimalistic, it's fine. But if it is like this, I feel personally rule of three is key. So I don't want to do this more than three, anything th more than three times in terms of in a row. If I have some space, I can repeat a section. That's totally legit and okay. But I want to make sure that I have sections. So far... In this track, we have this opening kind of warble set. Oh, I don't know warble is the right word. These kind of dives and this atmospheric with the choir dissonances and clusters and the synth clusters. And then we have this new section happening starting here at 29, uh, at about the 40 second mark, which is this, this guitar driven, surge synth driven sound. And I'll just solo this out so you can hear. I just love that sound, blah, blah, that's just a cool sound. And then I have the guitar down here, um, where's that, oh, this is the pinned bass, just doing that, wah, 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 and then I have the power guitar. Doing fits, so what I want to do is I want a guitar solo. I want a gnarly shredding guitar solo, but I don't want to go like, mm, I don't want it to be too much. So I'll try it and see if it works, but it may be too much and that's okay. All right, I'm first thing I'm going to do is let's create a bed for our guitar solo. And that bed is going to be what? Maybe this. And bring it to there and then we'll copy that over. So, um, when I'm doing percussion stuff like this, I'll just kind of get a groove going, and then I'll go back in and take things out and adjust things later. Um, sometimes having things repeat percussively is not, not bad because you're calling to sections. As long as something else has happened in between, coming back is okay. Um, ideally, you don't want things to be too identical, so just be aware of that. But for this, I feel like we're still in the area of like, yeah, this is, this is fine. Um, all right. 
what what is this is what what, what track that's the guitar Okay, so the problem is, this is my three, right? That's my third repetition, so I can't do it again there. So I can do these three. Um, let's have them be a half step lower, just, just so it's different. Um, grip it to the bass, of course. Yeah, have it be higher, that's cool. And then let's go and grab and we'll give it to the mad bass up here. That sounds so cool. So right here is another key area where I can just drag in some some of that high synth stuff. And I'll repeat that there. And then uh, right here, this measure is a dead zone. So let's go. Uh, that's a bit much. <laughs> he says while creating a track that's nothing but a bit much. Ah, uh, that's funny. Uh, that's funny. Yeah. Sweet. I'm just copying over to fill. Again, oftentimes you don't be precious about what it is. It doesn't matter. It's just getting sound in. And I like the pieces to be kind of the, they kind of form themselves. I don't I don't over some people like to really like pin it out like this has to be this, this has to be this. It doesn't matter. It just needs to be there. As long as there's percussion there, that's fine. That's good enough. You don't need to go like it needs to be perfect. It doesn't have to be. It just needs to be filling the space. And if it's filling space, that's awesome. Okay, great, great, good to see you. Hello, hello, welcome in, welcome in. Thank you all for hanging out with me, doing some live composing. If you will excuse me for just like one minute, I will be right back. One minute. I gotta get I have some food in the oven. I need to get that out. So I'm gonna run, get the food out of the oven, bring it back right now. I'll be right back in one minute. In the meantime, I will let you all listen to the track uh, through this, and I when I get when it comes placed through, I will be right back. Okay, so I'll be back in just one minute. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. One minute, and we'll do this. Okay, so let me.
turn myself back so you can see me. Hello, yes, I'm back. Okay. Um, great question. What mode? Woo. Uh, what mode am I using? That's a great question. Let me fix that. Okay, cool. This is a great question. Let me see. Um, I'm using. I actually haven't thought about what scale I'm using. Um, when I write music like this, I tend to not think in terms of scale. I tend to think in terms of intervals. So when I'm, it probably is either Locrian or Phrygian um, that I'm using. Probably Locrian because uh, I'm using a lot of uh, flat two to one. So the, the, the half step from the first note of the scale to the second. And I'm using a lot of tritones. And I'm using a lot of augmented, as well as I tend to do a lot of augmented sevenths, which is just a minor second inverted, right? Um, but I don't, I don't think about scale when I'm writing this particular style of music, um, because what I'm doing is I'll write something and then I'll just shift it up a couple steps or down a couple steps, and I'll kind of keep it around like the A is kind of my main pitch, so everything is kind of relative to A, and I'll write it all in A. Some sort of a, a, a Locrian or A Phrygian, and then I will just transpose and move things. So it's it's a little more fluid the way I'm approaching this track. Does that mean that's how I approach most tracks? No. Most tracks I would figure out the chord progression or I would figure out the melodic content and then set a chord progression to it. And that's how I would do that. But it is not for this, I it doesn't need that level of specificity. To be honest, <laughs> it just needs sound. Uh, it's sound design, really, and that's how I'm conceptualizing it. As I'm, I'm putting sounds and painting with sounds. Um, I love to paint, as you can. See, all of those paintings are, are mine, and I love just putting color on canvas and watching it explode and interact and how the edges form. I do a lot of abstracts that way, and it's very similar. This is like a very abstract painting to me. I'm putting colors on a page and I'm figuring out how do they meld. And where, where are the rough edges, and how can I play with those rough edges? Um, and I just do it sort of intuitively, and I just fill it out as I go along. Um, it's a very non-technical way of approaching it. Um, I, with my formal training, I've done everything. I've done the thing where, I know a professor, Dr. Epolito at Texas State, where he would require us to verbally be able to state every section of a piece written out with detailed descriptions of it fully audiated in our head, the entire structure, and then would we'd write the piece after we had figured everything out in our heads first. Uh, that was quite challenging to do. It made interesting pieces, and it did work, but it was a very difficult way. I, I like to explore. I like the happy accidents, uh, to borrow uh, Bob Ross's line. Uh, I like it to be more just, I'm in the moment, and then I figure something out. Okay, let's get back to work. We're enough talking about that. Okay, WB. Okay, here we go. I'm back. Everything good? WB. All right. Cool. Here we go. So here, where do we leave off? Right here. That's a fantastic bet. Um, since you mentioned Phrygian, which um, which is half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, that's the pattern. Um, woo, that's not a Phrygian scale. I'm gonna go to E, E Phrygian, which is a minor scale with a flat two, um, and I'm gonna use that with my guitar. It's not quite cool enough. So it's going to be... No, too low. Lower. No, too low. Yeah, that, that's, the, that's a cool vibe. Let's just go with that. It's just kind of riffing on E. I'm just making it up as I go along. That's what I always do. 
Uh, don't tell anyone. Um, okay, so here we go. We're going to grab that, and we're going to record. And I'm just going to take this little loop, and I'm going to copy it a couple times. I'm not intending on keeping this. I'm just doing it now so that I can record quickly. And if I get into a vibe, I can kind of dis discover. I always want to give myself space to discover it. And then um, as I'm improvising through it, and then I probably will keep 20% of what, I, what I'm about to play. So I'm going to play something loosely on that, and then we'll see what happens. I have no idea what's going to happen. It's so much fun. I have no idea. We're just going to try. We'll play it as we go. All right. There's the okay, here we go. Bunch of notes. Uh, immediately you're gonna obviously let's not do them perfectly quantized, but you know 90% is fine. And we will do sixteenths just to make it a little more consistent. Now, there's a lot of wrong notes in there. I doesn't matter. It's not about being perfect. It's about getting content as fast as possible on the thing. I actually didn't need that many repetitions. I guess I kind of got it not first go, but close to it. Uh, I didn't realize this was three measures, so we can just backfill that. That syncs up better yeah um cool so let's just see what we have um and see how we can make it better Ooh, okay uh i want this to be that feels a little out too out let's tighten that a bit more let's make that a little ba -ba -da -da. um da -da -da -da. i thought it was more than really bad Da 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 dum bum 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 da 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 Oh, too many notes there. Ba da da. Uh, no. Uh, da 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 da. I don't mind that, but I do mind that it's not in time. <laughs> really out of time there. I think I think it shifted everything over. I think it was more in time when I played it, or it felt more in time. Maybe it wasn't. Hard to say. Okay. Uh, that was that was not in time. Okay, so you can see I'm, as I'm playing, and that's fine. Uh, I am a pianist. I can play in time, but when it's when it's synced here, it's always out of time. So I don't even like worry if it's not in sync or not. I don't doesn't matter to me. Doesn't matter. Um, bum bum. Where where where? That's where. Okay. Um, I apologize. That was obtrusively loud. My bad. Here we go. Do, 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 Ah, so that first one was wrong. Did you catch it? It's on the E instead of the and. Okay, so... Awesome. All right. So that's that's grooving. That's working. What do you all think? That sounds cohesive. Yeah. Thank you. I'm glad. Yeah. It's coming together. It's coming together. Um, part of that is just picking your sounds at the beginning. Uh, trying to pick sounds that, that kind of work together. Um, thank you. That's awesome. Okay. Let's see here.
Cool, 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 cool. That's all working okay-ish. Okay-ish. I'm not in love with this. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Uh, we can make it better. How do we make it better? I'm not sure yet. We'll figure that out. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think I want to go to my um, synth here. This is vital, by the way. It's free program. Check it out. It's amazing. It's a wavetable synthesizer. I love it so much. Uh, it's so good. Mmm. So check that out. Um, these are all my user. These are all my user ones. Um. Mad, mad bay, liquid death bass, mad bass. Plucky pleb, bleb. What does that sound like? I uh, made that in May. I don't know what that sounds like. Let's find out together. Oh my gosh! Blow me out of the water. Go, go! Not so loud. Interesting. Um, mm -hmm. Let's have it filter. Have this filter while filter the sample. Oh, it's OS3. Uh huh, there we go. So this filter is just filtering out some of the sound from here. Um, that's all that's happening. Nothing, nothing fancy. Um, cool. Yeah, that that might that might be what it is. So what I'm hearing is I'm I, the guitar is not enough is what I'm hearing. It needs to punch through, and so a plucky sound paired with it might help it do that. Can't guarantee it, but we can, might help. Um, oh well, I can already see that that's not in sync, is it? <laughs> that's okay. We just move it back. Boop. All right, now it should be in sync. Is it in sync? Yes, it's in sync. All right, cool. Bum, bum. Ooh, that is a nasty sound. I'm here for it. I am so here for it. All right. Um, I do need this to be a little quieter, though. Sorry. One second. I'm going to play it in just a second. I know we're all eager to hear if it's going to be the thing. Audio engine is like, no, what are you doing? Uh, I love Vital, but it takes up so much time. Um, okay. Vital doesn't want to play. Okay. Um, uh, okay, I gotta be admit, I'm not in love with that. <laughs> what do y'all think? Um, thanks, Zion. Yeah, no worries. Ha thanks for stopping by. How great to see you. Great to see you. Do I know in my head? Do I want, uh, hey, Saga Space. Awesome to see you. Great to see you. Thank you for joining in. No worries, Zion. Have a great evening. Thank you. Great to see you, Zion. Um, do I know what I want it to sound like? Uh, honestly, I can hear bits and pieces. And my audition is not bad, but it's more playing with it and figuring it out as I go. Um, it's not so much that I always know. I, I When I started this track, I knew I wanted big drums. When I started this track, I knew I wanted dissonant clusters. Um, and sometimes uh, you get there, and sometimes you don't. Now, for me, this is not working. So, well, I hate to do it, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to just cut it. And I think I want something a little more like, bada, I want like a different pattern. I think part of the problem is that these drums, these drums here, are doing the same pattern we've been doing. And I feel like what I want is something different. So let's figure out all that together. I think I want to go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. I give a seven pattern. So let's do that. Okay, and we're gonna do it down low, kind of like I'm imagining here I am imagining, and I'm hearing like a kind of um punk rock, like an alt rock early like 90s sound, like a very metal y kind of thing. Dun 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 dun. Like Metallica. That's the vibe. Uh, on E, no less. 
All right, so it's one, two, so we need to add the accents. One, two, three, four, five. Ba da 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 da, and then this one will be more. Not all, not all of you. Just you are special. Everybody else, not so much. Okay, and then we're gonna go one two three four five one two three, and then we're gonna go pattern. One two. One two three four five. And then that, that will form a, a nice little loop. Let's see how that sounds. That is so much more like in the vibe of, of this piece. And uh, it's simpler, but that's okay. Um, that is okay. Let's grab this. Come here. No, where did you go? You went down. There you are. Hello. Okay, and bring it up to here. Okay. Yeah, very organic. That's me. I, I can't. I have to kind of play with it to figure out if it's working or not. And I like to hear it if it's working or not. I mean, I do. I've been, like I said, I've been drumming music for 20 years now, and my my thought process is get it on the get it on there. It's like throwing paint at a canvas. You just throw paint and you figure out as you go along because I. It, it, even though I have all this formal training and I, I've done pieces a lot of different ways, it's end of the day, if you can get music out effectively, that's what we're here for. So, um, what if I grab and hello? All right, let's get rid of these. Cool. Uh, no. <laughs> Immediately like, yeah, no, no, that's a no. Um, let's see. Bam, 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 bam. lead back in repeat this once oh oh nope that was a mistake mistakes were made Charles is sorry um that's my catchphrase mistakes were made Charles is sorry Going up the rails on a crazy train. Okay, here. All right, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. Three, four, five, one. Cool. So, you guessed it. We're going to emphasize those. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, one. One, and that's the pattern. So, we're going to add extra oomph with these lower drums and I'm gonna go doubly I'm gonna double down on this really make these impacts because I want this section to feel fresh it's a new idea so we've had this nice long a section and all that hey uh, uh, saga space help me out have you heard the whole track yet just let me know did you hear the whole track already I don't want to play it if you already heard it but if you haven't heard it let me know and I'll play the whole thing for you um, in the meantime, I'm gonna listen to what I just played.
Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. Yes. Sweet. Yep. I want to make sure. I don't want to repeat. Oops. I don't want to repeat things if um, if you haven't heard of the whole thing. Cool. I am going to go back though, not to play it for you, but just to pull some of the earlier um, material to the forefront. Um, grab all. Um, grab all of this. From, oops, control Z, maybe from here onward. Nope. Oh, I see what I have to do. Here onward. Very cool. Um, we're going to bring all that back in. Um, but we're going to shift it so it's on the beat. All of this, and we're going to bounce the clips. And on the beat. And then you on the beat. You on the beat. You on the beat. Um, so what I'm hearing here is uh, another build up, pop, 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 pop. So I gotta do this. I'll have these sections, and then it's gonna build up, and then be next section, and next section. And I want them to feel fragmented, right? It's supposed to be an action scene, and so you want that unsettled feeling. So you never want to. For me, I want the vibe organically overall to be the same, but I don't want any individual part that you can probably guess how long it's gonna last. So sometimes it'll be like, it's a five measure thing. It's like, then I'll have a section where it's like, no, it's a four measure thing. And to bounce those between them, um, I find is helpful. Um, okay, where am I? I'm right here. Let's do this. Okay, so here, we're going to fill in this. Okay, and then we're going to go... Okay. Cool. So. And then we're into the next thing. Cool. And that's flowy. And I like that. Um, all right. Um, ye Come here. No, that's not the right dive. Um, you. Yeah, it's getting a little, little staticky, but <clears throat> staticky, sorry about that. Not sure why it's doing that. I think the streaming and running this many instruments is like, ah. Um, but we press on, we persevere. I don't think it needs to be there. It doesn't need to be here. And run to the next part. Okay, cool. Save it. All right. Um. Mm, mm, let's see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, replicates, come here. Um, you right here. I want a nice low cluster, and we're gonna do it on C sharp. Now this is intentional. Um, I'm in E minor Phrygian, and now we're gonna drop a minor third. I do this a lot. If you listen to my music, you'll just realize that I'm just doing the same trick over and over again, because I kind of do that a lot. And it has have a section and then shift by a minor third because it sounds cool. And dropping, it's the it's the classic thing of uh, in Star Wars. Let's make sure I'm grabbing this so I can play. It's like the The Darth Vader theme, right? That's very, that is very um, traumatic thirds. So three notes apart. 
uh, chords, minor chords, and you just go between them. And in, this, in, the, in the Star Wars case, it's a uh, doubly chromatic. Because two notes are, are is it one chromatic? Two, uh, actually. It's supposed to be double. No, it is doubly. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, back to this. So, uh, hello, replicants. Let's do this right here. Anybody watch Guy Macklemore? Oh, I love Guy. Guy is so funny. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Um, Guy Macklemore here on YouTube. He's amazing. Check him out. Uh, he's a professional composer as well. And, but a much more accomplished one. <laughs> and he's done a lot more than I have. And really, really cool guy. And um, just does these really great things. But what I love about him is he's so quirky. And he's unabashedly quirky. Um, it's awesome. He's like, hello, instruments. And then he's always greeting them. It's great. Anyhow. Okay, here we are. Okay, I was talking about Star Wars, you're right, and then I got distracted, and I forgot what chord I was trying to pick, and I picked the wrong one. <laughs> That's classic me right there. All right, here we go. C sharp, G sharp, E natural, and for flavor, we'll add a, I don't know, a C natural with it. All right, well, that is not working. And why is it not working? Well, because you put it in the wrong spot. That, that, that makes sense. C sharp. Yeah, that that is that is like taking a poem taking a poem one, two, three. Oh my gosh, that's an amazing score. Taking a poem one, two, three, amazing. A lot of horns. That's a horn line. That's a horn thing, but I'm doing it with a set. But that's a classic French horns kind of thing to do. In action scenes. Usually in film music, you would do that, and then you would drop tempo. That's usually what happens. You go, and then new tempo. And that's so, so everything syncs up. It's, a, it's kind of a shorthand. If you start paying attention to films, you'll hear that a lot of a wah choir moment and then some, a new tempo. It was a way to kind of bridge two ideas. Happy accidents, yes indeed. <laughs> Everything's a happy accident if I'm involved, let's be real. Um, all right, so um, this amazing pin bass, we are gonna bring it back, bring it back. So let's do that right here. Doing great, thank you, I appreciate it. I appreciate the compliment. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all being here. This is so much fun. It's it's I do this so much by myself, and I'm like, wait, I, I don't have to do it by myself. I can do it and have everyone else hanging out, and it's just more fun. Um, and I don't have to be quite so like pushing to get it done as fast as possible, which is what I normally do. If I really want to knock something out, I'll I will get into the zone and work for three hours straight and just like it's done. Um, and then come back to it, listen to it with fresh ears, make a few adjustments, and call it a day. But that's if I really want to get something done. This needs to be a four minute track though, so that's not gonna happen in three hours. Uh, maybe it could, where, where are we at? We're at 149? Uh, we could finish this today. I'm of the opinion, and you all can let me know if you want me to keep working on this track, or should we jump ship and start working on a different track and do something else just to make the variety of the stream more interesting? Um, Cause I, could, I need to do kind of an ambient almost Blade Runner-y opening, kind of, like, more subdued. I like to do that. Um, I have a few ideas for that. But I'm having a great time with this. So you all let me know in the comments, hey, do you want same track? Stick with this one? Keep working on it? Something else? You let me know. All right, cool. Um, next thing I'm going to do while you all figure that out is I'm going to grab this section right here, and I'm going to shamelessly copy it over. Now, why am I doing that? Because I can't. But also, um, why not? It, 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 it fits. And we've had enough time here. When we come back to this, it'll feel palindromic, which is what I, I another trick I do. I wrap and write pieces forward and then backwards. That's another great trick to, if you need to extend material and you're out of ideas, make it a palindrome. A, B, C, B, A. That is a great approach to extend music out if you're a composer. Okay, um, so let's let's do this. Um, nope, nope. Let me zoom in. 
Apologies, it's so small. Can't even see it. Nope, nope, drop it. Okay, and then we're gonna grab you, and we're gonna bounce the clips, and we're gonna grab you. If anybody wants to know the DAW I'm using, I'm using Cakewalk, which you probably can see up here in the corner. If you can read that, I don't know if the if it's big enough. Um, and I've been using this program for two years professionally, and I've scored films with it, I've scored TV shows with it, I've done pinball machines, I've done a bunch like dozens of video games with it. It does everything you need to do, and it's I mean, it's, it's free. What? I know. It is just as good. I came from GarageBand. That's actually my very first score. Is like when I did the Island of Spirits for a Madox. Uh, that's a great platformer RPG. It's getting better and better. He's just a fantastic, talented pixel artist at Madox's, and um, his game is just beautiful. Check it out, the Island of Spirits. And what is on an Island of Spirit? T I O S Spirits. T I O Spirits on uh, Twitter. But anyways, Madox, he uh, I did it on GarageBand, and I wrote that whole thing using GarageBand, and then I switched to this, um, and I just liked it better. Um, it's a, it's very similar though, so that's why I picked Cakewalk. Um, I did look into going into Logic, but then I decided to get a Windows, so I needed to switch my DAW, and then Cakewalk was available, and it was free to use, and still is. Um, Vital is free. Um, the percussion I purchased is Epic Percussion from Spitfire Audio, and the I have uh, Aperture, Spitfire Aperture. It is a lot of these like replicants. This and ap uh, Aperture the stack, and this was I got as a because I bought uh the Spitfire BBC Orchestra, and when I bought that, it came with, and this, I've used this more than the orchestra, well, maybe not, that's not true, but I've used this a lot, um, and it's really great, and it has all these great synths, and what they did is they took a big stack of, like, 60 amplifiers, and, yeah, oh, yeah, no worries, yeah, so we have Poach on the guitar, yeah, I agree, I think it was too much, too quickly, um, I could see a, like a word, like a guitar line, like, Whoa, but it felt like it was drawing too much attention to itself. I agree. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Space Saga. Great, Saga Space. Excuse me. Great to see you. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Okay, let's get back to work. Here we go. Something I just realized is that this is not syncing with that, but I kind of like it. So I'm not going to change it. I'm going to leave it out of sync. I think before it was in sync, and now it's not. So subtle changes is great. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to take all of my instruments here, just the instruments, uh -huh, and then I'm going to right click and transpose them by two, just so it's different. Do that, do that. No, get rid of that. Get rid of that top one. Um, do that, do that. Grab the percussion from there so it matches. Oh goodness sakes, no. Definitely not either. There we go. That's. 
That's awesome. All right, and then we're gonna go here, but I don't want it to be that pitch. Da, 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 da. Right, and then eighty-six. Half step higher again, because you want it to have that menace. Like, it's coming after you. Oh no! Da da woo! And then it's like run away. All that. Yep. I got a wobbly chair here, and I keep trying to have to fix it, and I keep moving, and then it's wobbling. Probably apologies for that. All right, back to work. All right, so let's see. Let's grab a quick bite. Okay. What often happens when you're working through something like this is that when you kind of cut and paste but you keep it out of sync. Now what I'm doing is I'm analyzing and going, okay, where are the holes? There's a couple in here. There's a couple more ways we can approach filling them. Um, let's take a, we're going to anal, we're going to listen to it again and critically listen to 67 through 72. Okay, so, so, wop, wop, come here choir, that's what we need. And there, okay, this drum pattern, um, I liked it at, when I first wrote it, and I still like it, but it stops too much. It just needs to be a little more. That right there. deal here. Bop. Bop. And then this is a build-up. Well, to build-up you guys start smaller than that, but this is a build-up. Cool, and then build up. Okay, this is not lining up with the the hits. Ba ba. So let's get let's go. Ba da da da. -da. Um. the ending could be the ending uh, may not be could be the ending In this section here all right I don't know why I keep going back to the replicate but I just feel like it Hits me where I live, you know? Exactly where I need. 
for this track. Um, let's go F sharp. F natural. Half step. That's great. Not where I need it to be, though. <laughs> That's all working. That's all working for me. No. Okay. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go back to the beginning. Um, if I was working, try to be productive, I would just keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. But I'm gonna go back, take a break, two second break. Stay hydrated. Have another. Have a little more food. Okay, let's sit back, and listen to the whole thing, and see how, we, how we're feeling about it. I feel pretty good. Honestly, it's working pretty well. So, it's feeling very epic, very dystopian. It, it's working for me. I feel like it's hitting the vibe. And for the very first track of this pack, that's good. And this is a strong, this is a strong song. There's always going to be strong songs that, uh, when you're writing for when you're writing music liquid. Honestly, some of them will be more hit the mark, some of them will be less. This one I feel like is hitting the mark. So, um, not that they're ever bad. I usually write more tracks than is needed, and I pick the best like 11 or 12. So, not always. It just depends on the project. So this, yeah, we'll see how many I make. I'm just going to keep live streaming and doing this. It's kind of fun. All right, here we go.
Okay, uh, this bell thing. Hmm. This right here, this bell thing. I don't know if I want this. Better. The end. <laughs> yes. Ba, 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 da. <laughs> I like the spaces. It's so relentless, and then you get to that ending, and it's just like, like it's. Oh, it's so cool. Hey, good to see you, Miss Mountain Fox. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome in, welcome in. And we're so excited to be working on some music today for my upcoming future dystopian future music pack. This is going to be a collection of, I'm not sure how many tracks, probably 10 plus, 10 to, 10 to 12 tracks. Each track is going to be about four minutes long. We're at 2.32, .30, and we're kind of at a climactic moment here. Um, so we've kind of reached a pinnacle climax. I feel like it needs to chill. Like it needs to go into a, new, uh, not a new thing, but a, a chiller groove. Um, yes. Here... I want to do something. Uh, mm. It's a bit much, but that's okay. That's a bit much, he says. Yeah, just, just a little. Um, that's how it goes. Um, let's see here. Okay. Do one, two, three, four. That's right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. One. Cool. Ferrum, here, come here. Um, this is Ferrum. I love Ferrum. Ferrum is great. It's free. There's a free version. Go get it. It's Ferrum by... Who's it by? Forget who's it by. Ferrum Modern Trailer Percussion. Keep Forest. Keepforest.com. Check it out. Not a sponsor. Just just a cool thing. It was free. It has a great sound. Um, very percussion-y. Very trailer percussion-y. Sounds awesome. Yeah, that's that's the sound, big and loud in your face. One, okay. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, four, five. One. Cool. Now, just just for variety's sake, move it up. I'm gonna go to here and see how that sounds. It 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 cycles. That's cool. Bring it up the. It's a little crunchy. I apologize. The audio is going like, ah, I'm not so sure about this. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in. All right. So, um, so uh, any thoughts, any suggestions? Um, any, 
Any comments, feel free. Any questions? I love to answer questions. Uh, hi, my name is Charles Wolf. I'm a professional music composer. I've been writing music for over 20 years. In the last two years, I've worked on over 45 plus projects. Um, everything from video games to film scores to TV music to TV shows to um, pinball machines, comic book soundtracks, and more. Um, and I love to write music. I have a master's degree in Texas State University in music theory and music composition. And so anything about music theory, anything about music composition, any questions like that, feel free. Leave them in the chat. I would love to answer your questions. Uh, any questions about my process, about this piece, uh, but other pieces of music of mine, check it out. You can check follow me on SoundCloud at Charles Wolf Composer. Charles Wolf Composer. And you can find my website at charleswolfmusic.com. Okay, that's my little promo. I'll get my soapbox now and we'll do that again for a bit. Hmm. Dire Prism! Hey, how's it going? Good to see you, good to see you. Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, working on this big, epic sounding um, um, future dystopian music. I'm going for a Mad Max meets Blade Runner sound. Uh, Mad Max is the big over the top trailer drums. And uh, eventually, I could even add horns to this if I wanted to go that far. I'm not going to. Um, and then, not for this track, maybe the next one. And then everything else is just a continuation of that. So let me actually get rid of some of these extra. Um, well, before I say I say they're extra, let me make sure that I'm not using them anywhere. Um, oh, that's the full thing. Oh, cool. All right, welcome in, welcome in. If you have anyone has questions about this piece, about me, about the music, anything, leave them in below. I can't wait to answer your questions. Uh, I love talking about music, music composition. It's my passion. It's my thing. I'm excited to hang out with you all and work on some music today. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here, being part of this. Okay, let's do this. Um, yeah, it sounds big. It is big. It's very big. Uh, I want it to be super epic and over the top. Okay, so we left off. We, when we left off, when we last left our heroes. This is where we were at. So I got three minutes, three beats. Three beats to make this happen. Nope, that's not how you do that. Come here, all right. Uh, Just making this a riser basically out of the choir in the two cents. Epic. Alright, that's working well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so this is going. Huh? Well. If it was in sync, it would be perfect. <laughs> I'm, off, I'm off by a measure. That happens a lot. Okay, that sounds pretty sick. Sweet, that's working so well. I'm quite happy with that. Um, I don't know what it is about. Sometimes if they're snapping to the automation button, if they're snapping to the automation points, they can make glitches. That's okay. And when I pause the audio, it goes click, because there's still sound happening, and then I'm cutting it short, and then it clicks and pops. It always does that. It's not, it, when I play it through, it won't, it, it might click a little bit because I'm streaming, but when I export it, it won't click or pop. It'll be fine. Um, I can, I know that, because I look at my console here, and I have it set, I have it limited to not go beyond my master chain here, 
and reverb limited as well, so we should be okay. Oh, Ferrum doesn't have any reverb on it. That's a problem. Let's. I want a little bit of reverb on my Ferrum. Awesome. So it doesn't give up. It doesn't give up. It's relentless. So now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go back to our A section. And we are going to copy some of it. Maybe this maybe this opening kind of sexual. Starting from here. Okay? So we're going to go to here. Starting from the top. Let's go one more measure over and try that again. <clears throat> Excuse me, a little bit of water here. Oh man, Cakewalk is great. Yeah, I'm a big fan. It works really well. It's free, uh, you, and it does everything you need a DAW to do, and more. <clears throat> it's fantastic. Really great stuff. I don't recommend, uh, their, their built-in sounds are kind of whatever. All the stuff I use is VST plugins, so just be aware. You're not going to get these sounds from it, but uh, it is a very nice workflow, and it does what you want. Um, it reminds me, it, it's very GarageBand friendly or Fruit Loop, Fruity Loops friendly. If you've used Fruity Loops or GarageBand, either of those, or Logic, this, you'll, you'll know what to do with this. It's not, it's not hard. Okay. Let's do this right here. Here we go. So this lead-in, this lead-in, hmm, I need, I want another bigger build-up. <laughs> Great, no worries. Yeah, lurk away. <coughs> Excuse me, hang out. Um, absolutely, keep the stream going if you want. You can leave, whatever works best for you, my friend. Not a problem whatsoever i'm just excited that you were all able to be here for a little bit and hang out so nice to see you all thank you all for hanging out and listening to me talk about music a bit it's my favorite thing so i appreciate you all being here it means a lot okay so let's get back into this um new something new yeah that sounds new new and exciting uh do ba, do, do. do 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 um um that's fine uh, and then let's have it be a build up And then we're back into what we already were doing. Cool. Um, one of my favorite things to do is when I'll do bring a section back, whatever defined the section needs to go. So what defined the section before was all of these bop, bop, that, that motif that has been a constant refrain through here. And we just kind of had a section that was very similar to that. So I feel like we need to not have that be the rhythm. What I would like to do is bring in an element of a different section to make it all cohesive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back, and there's a section back here um, where I had the, yeah, this part, this rhythm here. So this rhythm is going to be the main rhythm under the new section. And that way it makes it, it makes it better. It makes it all kind of flow. So let's, let's see. Now these metal hits, I think we'll just leave them. So some things being the same is great, and some things being different is better. Um, bump, bump.
the next thing I need to do is we never want this to be identical. Identical is boring. Similar, great. Identical, boring. So what I'm going to do to help kind of, it'll be sim, it is the same, but to help fool the ear further, um, let me grab all of you. Thank you. And we're going to transpose by, I don't know, three. And then grab all of you. And the nice thing is because I'm not really in a scale, I'm just kind of putting in these clusters. I don't have to worry about, uh, as long as I shift them all roughly equal amount, it will have an equal outcome in terms of distance. It will be the same amount of distance as before. So that's kind of nice. Uh, okay, um, come here. I want you there. Okay, and then the choir's out. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, let's listen. Let's listen to this section now that everything has been shifted a touch. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Um, on some of these hits, uh, I'm just going to take and move you up to here and see what happens. Starting with you, come here, you. What's happening? Is this working? No, it's not all working. Okay, it's good because this is not a note. So that's okay. We can fix it. Um, you're not a note. That's fine. And like, just like that, we're all heard you for three minutes, which is great. I only need one more minute of this, and then we'll have a nice little loop. And what I'll probably end up doing is kind of having it go whoa, and then it'll loop back to the beginning. So yeah, that's working well. Okay, let's listen to this section one more time. And what I'm looking for now is any spots that need more music. Sharp D natural guitar. Hello, guitar. Come here. Okay. Um, I just want the, gu the guitar. I don't want anything else. Thank you. Lower. Wanted to be there. Doesn't mean too much. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Um, you come here, grab you, uh, behave. Computer is like, what? No, that's not happening. Okay, let's try this again.
that's awesome. Um, what do I need? I need something else. What does it? What is it though? What is it? Um, replicants. Oh, you're already here. Hello. Um, I want a low note. I want like a mid note, not a low note. A mid note. We're gonna call it. Or do, I don't know. E, that's not low enough. Yeah, I just fill the space. Again, I'm gonna try to just make it crunchy. That's working great. That's so much better. Um, this section here. You know what's coming next, right? Oh, there is notes there. But, <laughs> but we're going to put underneath it, we're going to put this pin base, and he's just going to hold out, I don't know, uh, a low note, an A. For three measures, maybe? Four Actually, it would be smart. An A is there. Yeah, actually, that does work. Okay, that's awesome. Way too loud, but that's awesome. That is exactly what I need right there, right there. Okay, let's, let's, if it's not listening, and it's not listening, let's, we're gonna make it listen by going, no, I really do want you lower. Okay, I want to still hear it. Yes, yes, that's so cool. I love it. Oh, it's so cool. Uh, we're gonna make it even cooler. We're gonna make it even cooler. We are, we are, we are. Uh, Okay, uh, part of why that's not, that's cool, but it's a polyrhythm, and I know people don't like polyrhythms as much, um, I've found. Um, it's not in sync because I think the, the warping there. Ah, okay, no worries, man. Great to see you. Thank you so much for hanging out. Are you Bellum? It's amazing to see you. Great to see you. Great to see you. No problem at all. I appreciate you hanging out. This has been really fun. Uh, I'm probably going to wrap up here. Uh, pretty soon anyhow, so not a problem at all. It's been a great stream. Um, and we made some pretty good progress on this piece. Uh, I'm feeling a little tired myself. I had a ton of errands this morning, and then I got back kind of late and then got the stream going. Uh, probably going to probably end in the next 15 minutes or so. Anyhow, so that's not a problem. But it's been great to seeing you. Uh, I hope I'll see you again soon. I'm planning on streaming again um, 
soon. I don't know if tomorrow, I might be too busy tomorrow, but um, maybe next week I'll get another stream day, maybe Monday or Tuesday, and that'll be really fun. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, take care. Have a good one. Bye. Hey, Lorenzo. Hey, good to see you. I like it still. <laughs> good to see you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, man. Definitely. Always, always. I just released the sci-fi music pack that was uh, on Kickstarter. That was a successful Kickstarter. I'm so happy about that. Uh, we had uh, close to, um, let's see, close to, uh, I think we had like 20 backers in total almost and uh, raised over $500 for that pack. That was amazing. Uh, appreciate everyone's support for that. And so that was really, really great. And yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Happy to be working on music still. Working on a new music pack for game developers. This one is Future Dystopian. And this is track number one. So we're just getting into this. Um, and I'm going to be live streaming the process of writing a full music pack, basically, is my hope. Yeah, yeah, I'm so excited. Uh, you've been grindstoning. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. What are you back in school? What are you, what are you studying? That's exciting. That's exciting. Uh, school is great. My wife did that. She went back to school. Um, and she was had a bachelor's degree in English. And then she decided, you know what I actually want to be? I really want to be an aerospace engineer, which is a totally different thing. And she's great at it. And so now she works not in aerospace, but as a procedural engineer here in Santa Fe, uh, New Mexico, USA. And she works uh, at, up near in Los Alamos, not at the big laboratory there, but at, for a company that does uh, environmental remediation and nuclear waste disposal. Computer science, yeah. Hit so many walls of bottom edge, I realized I need a formal education. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I feel like I've gotten into IT myself a bit by doing this, for sure. I need a formal education. As, yeah, 100%, never a bad idea. Um, I did take some classes in coding, uh, C Sharp, and in Unity. Um, I, doing, uh, it was Udemy, I said I took those through, through there, and uh, that's how I learned about the game engines and all of that. I still have more to learn, like I should probably learn how to do C++. If I'm being honest, um, maybe some Java would be helpful. Um, but once you have one coding language, learning the next one is like, well, what's the idioms of this one, right? So it's not, it's not like starting for totally over. So it shouldn't be too bad. But that's awesome. Congrats. That's super awesome. We're working on music today right now. Uh, let's get back to it. Um, I'm gonna stream for a little bit longer now that you're here. Um, so excited to see you. Thanks for hanging out. Let's do this. Here we go. Sweet, I love it. Great. So now I just need a little more oomph. Um, so instead of going, um, instead of going uh, somewhere else, we'll go right back. To, we'll go right here, and we'll just add a harmony. Take that up there. Um, it's great. It's great. This needs to be more of a thing, like so. Um, is that where it changes? Okay. Oh, it's too small. Let's zoom it in. Yeah, that is where it changes. I'm going to jump cut to there. All right, let's listen to that. So it's going to be kind of fading in. Yeah, that's working fantastic. Happy with that. Um, so, uh, yeah, Lorenzo, this is the whole... Actually, I'll play you the whole thing because you haven't heard the whole piece. So this is the track. Um, it's a lot of big dissonant clusters and synth stuff and low synth dives and then big, big, big choir and percussion. Everything is, like, turned up to 11. This is an action track, so it needs to be really dialed in. This is like, you know, you're having a combat with the BBEG and tabletop, uh, tabletop role-playing game or you're... You're facing down the, one of the big bads, and he's like a Mecha Godzilla or something. Um, that's the vibe for this.
Awesome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, 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 no worries, no worries. I'm not in a super rush, but I've started at, I've been going for about two hours now, so probably will end soon-ish. Pretty soon, pretty soon. Yeah, it's super awesome. Thank you, thank you. I'm really happy. I'm happy with it. It's coming out well. It's got the vibe, it's got the energy, right? It's got the Mad Max drums. It's got the kind of the replicator um, Blade Runner synth that this sound. Uh, come on, uh, play it. That's like very Blade Runner y. Um, so I'm really happy with the way those two things are interacting. I want to, I'm definitely going to write some like calmer pieces in this. This is like turned up to like 11, which is makes sense. It's dystopian. It's like big machine um, stuff. I've been playing through uh, Horizon Zero Dawn for the first time this week. Um, uh, unrelated note, but it's been amazing on the PS4. And it's been really amazing to get into that game because it has this, it has that dystopian future thing going on with it. But it has those wonderful, um, so like tribal elements in the musical score. And then it has that kind of ish, 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 do, 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 kind of thing going on with the, the, the bass and the drums uh, in that game. And it's pretty amazing. I love that there's a little like, what 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 kind of thing in the, uh, it's not quite like that, but it's something to that effect of, um, I'm never good at singing things, but it has this kind of almost, that, oh, not, that's a little too Western, but. like that in the flutes it's pretty cool yeah 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 it's epic thank you thank you yeah super ha super happy to be here yeah epic over the top that's me <laughs> that's what i like to do right epic and over the top no uh we, when i was working on boulder mage yeah it was, i was a little bit more uh restrained <laughs> than this let's put it that way i was a bit more restrained than this this was this is like too much <laughs> if i'm being honest um, but that's okay. It's too much in a good way, I hope. So yeah, Boulder Mage was a lot more chill for that soundtrack. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, I hope you. I, I would hope. I can't wait to see what you do with Boulder Mage. I can't wait to see you. I hope you can get back to it at some point. Um, finish that. It'd be amazing. Um, because that was such. A, that's what that is still to date one of my favorite projects I've ever worked on. Um, because I like. I really liked the way that soundtrack was coming together, and I really liked the way in which all the music was working. Um. It was really fun. It was genuinely fun to write, and so uh, that'd be amazing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Get it back going would be amazing, because uh, yeah, it's just a fun soundtrack, man. So much fun to write. So much fun. I liked. I liked the the instrumentation of it, and the kind of it had kind of a I don't know what to call it. It it's like sixteen bit synth sample, uh, string samples. And it was just a little bit, it wasn't like this modern epic percussion trailer music stuff. It was much more um, subdued, like I said, but really fun. That's awesome. Well, yeah, that'd be amazing. But I know you got to do school stuff and got assignments for that. I, I get it. I did school for seven years. My, my partner did school for uh, 11 years. So yeah, lots of school and it takes time, but keep at it. You're doing awesome. That's amazing. That's so awesome. That's awesome. So happy for you. That's really cool. All right, all right, let's see here. Um, I've kind of hit my saturation point. I need to write another 40 seconds of music for this track, um, for this loop. And the easy way of doing that is just go back through and kind of figure out, okay, what haven't I hit or what can I hit again? I might just take this part, if I'm being very lazy, and I can copy that. To there and just pop it there. Get rid of that guy. And then go to this dive and just start it there. I think that'll work. Yeah, that's working pretty well. That's that got us 
farther. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, oh, that got messed up. It's okay. Turn that up to there. That's fine. Um, here. This is what it needs. It needs another cluster. My goodness. Excuse me. Maybe we'll do two measures of this and grab this and then drop it. And then take this and bring it up to not that much. There. Let's see if that sounds right. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be really awesome. Get back on it. 100%. 100%. Okay. One second. Okay, here we go. Awesome. All right, that's working. Beautifully well. I'm glad I brought that riff back. Um, when I get to an end of a track, when I have a four-minute track like this, it's really important that the ending be similar to the beginning, but not identical to the beginning. And it's super important that the ending can loop into the beginning pretty well. Um, and so this is working. This is different drum-wise from the beginning. This is similar, somewhat. And so, but it's taken on elements of stuff that's picked up through the track, which is for organic progression, which is great. Um, yeah, so what are we at right now? How much more do we, what are we at? We're at 342. Uh, how much more do I need to loop? 403, so around there. That's not that much, so pretty close, pretty close to that. Hey, Carlos, great to see you. Hello, hello. Welcome in, welcome in. Working on this piece, Future Dystopian Music Pack, Charles Wolf Music. I'm Charles Wolf. Pleasure to pleasure to see you. Pleasure to happy to be. I'm glad that you're here. Uh, I've been streaming for about two, a little over two hours now, so I'm getting close to wrapping up. I'll just give you a heads up. I'm sorry for that. Um, it's been a very fun but um, busy day. Um, so let's see here. I only need a little bit more. So where can I? Where do I want to grab from? I think I want to grab some of this. Um, but, but, let's grab this. Let's grab that. Do, do. Oh, Lagarda, nice, nice, nice to see you. Good to see you, Lagarda. I'm not even sure how to say that exactly, but... Uh, I do recognize your name. Great to see you from Twitter. Awesome, awesome. Welcome. Uh, so nice to see you. So you already know who I am. Great. I'm not doing my intro. <laughs> Super awesome to see you. Uh, thank you for dropping by and, and hanging out. I'm nearly done with this track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push forward, get to that four minute mark, and then I will put this on put this track on done. And then the next stream that I'll do probably next week, or maybe this weekend if I have time. Um, I will write a new track. So that's my goal, is to just wrap this up today and have everything be where be basically done for this piece as of today. So this is the beginning of it. So I need to grab the surge synth here, bring it over. 
The vibe of this track is, does that get to our mark? Oh, it gets way past our mark, okay. Um, well, too much, having too much is not a bad thing. Um, metal hits are gone, you're gone, and then you, you need to be ch more chill. Um, percussion low. That's cool. And then there's that. Oh, that's not a percussion low line. <laughs> that's part of the problem. Ah, okay, I see what I did wrong. Undo, 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 undo. Uh, I see what I did wrong. I got a copy from the top space. No, it didn't work. No, okay, I'll do it again. Sorry about that. I grabbed the wrong thing. Let's try this again. So grab everything, and then grab everybody. Everybody. Um, don't have that clear, so I won't sing any more than that. Okay, let's see. Um, really, are you doing the glitch where it's like, no, I don't want to select anything. Okay. How about that? Aha! Cool. Now, go back to here. So I often do this when I'm writing, is I'll write a section, and then I'll go back and grab an element from a previous section, and then I will kind of morph the new section from the old material, so it's more cohesive that way. Um, not every track I'll do this is very sound design focused, um, and that's really, really fun. Uh, I want to listen to the future music of the world of paranoia. <laughs> Indeed. Yes, indeed. Hopefully this is hitting the vibe for you. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm liking the vibe so much. Got to run? Yeah, no worries. Make sure to set some alerts, catch you again. Yeah, please do. Please do. Yeah, as I said, I'm planning on uh, streaming again probably maybe mon uh, Monday, I think. I'll, I'll uh, make sure you check my Twitter. That's where you'll find me. Um, and that's where I'm posting like, hey, I'm going live. So check that. Uh, or set the, I think there might be a way to do that on YouTube as well. Set an alert for that. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be live streaming this whole process of writing this track the, the together. And you get to watch me work through the process of figuring out what is this pack about. And we have a bold start, and I'm very happy about that. Good to see you, Lorenzo. Take care. No worries. Good to see you again, Dire Prism. Hey! Uh, did I send something weird while I was away? My headset was on top of the keyboard and typing away. No, I think you're good. I didn't see anything weird from you. I think we're all right. But great to see you. Great to see you. Welcome back. I'm nearly done! Woohoo! There's the four-minute mark right there. Um, now I gotta double check. This starts how far in? 121. So if I get one more measure in past where I just clicked, um, maybe we'll do a big hit. Yes. Not quite so. I grab the ferrum. No. Sorry, it's going to be loud in a minute. That's more of what I need. Um, starting here. Uh, no. Come here. Okay. Just happened. Oh. I think I know what happened. I think everything got bumped down a bit. Okay, that's too much. That's too much. All right, reset, reset, reset. Replicants, power, no, guitar, you, there. Um, what even is this? 
Oh, okay, this is the combo. Combo impact. That's what that is. It's like I'm so confused. What is happening? That's what's going on. All right, I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to go over here. And that's going to be... Now stick around. All right, cool, yeah. Sweet, sweet. Appreciate you sticking around. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to try to get to the end. That's all I'm trying to do is quickly grind to the end. I'm sorry I'm not being as chatty as I was earlier. I am kind of in, in the zone, basically. Just trying to get this finished is all. So bear with me if I'm a little bit focused. Apologies. Not trying to ignore you. Just trying to finish this really quick. So let's see how we're sounding. I want that to be longer. Uh, Yes, I have thought about that. Um, the minimum is going to be is 10, so 40 minutes of music, um, plus atmospheres. Um, I might do another Kickstarter, honestly, um, and do that same process of Kickstarter, same same breakdown. So if you if you happen to see, I don't know if you did, but if you happen to see what uh, I did for the last Kickstarter, which was the sci-fi at Astra Pack, um, that ended up being 12 tracks of music because of unlocked bonus goals. And it ended up being 15 atmospheres. And each atmosphere was like 50, uh, 15 minutes of music. So it was like four hours of audio by the end of it. Um, the atmospheres are very chill, like very ambient. And so I may do something quite similar for this pack as well. Like just kind of atmospheric. That kind of sounds. Um, but yeah, four, 10 tracks minimum. Um, maybe more. Uh, I always want there to be about an hour, not a full hour, 45 minutes of audio for music audio. And that should be enough for most game devs to cover what they need, especially with four minute tracks. So it's four minutes of music where it's not looping. Um, it's pretty good. So that really covers a section pretty well for a scene or for episodes. But yeah, if you have any thoughts on what you might need for your game, yeah, feel free to put in suggestions. Um, what sort of, do you have any levels in mind? Anything, give me ideas, because I'm going to be crafting this live, so if you have any particular thoughts, you want to nudge it in a certain direction that might help your game out, feel free. Um, it doesn't bother me at all. So, um, yeah, feel free to let me know what you think would be awesome to have in your game. So, yeah. <laughs> Clapping, yes. That's what I'm planning. Uh, another Kickstarter. Uh, the last one was successful, I'm very happy to say. Uh, we had about 20 black, a little shy of 20 black, 20 backers, there we go, ugh, getting tired, 20 backers, and we, um, we hit our $500 goal, we ended up with like $572 raised, which I thought was pretty good, for, for me, that's great, um, so, pretty happy with that, okay, cool, back to work, here we go, Let's see what we're doing. Um, okay, so this, I know I, this obviously has to go bop, bop, to end. That's like the obvious, obvious ending. Boom. Okay, so then from here, from here, right there. I don't mind that it's like a little more um, percussive -y. Uh Give me a whole snap, thank you. Um, let's loop it. Oops. So from there all the way out here. So save. Okay, if it crashes, it could crash. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> um, Mm -hmm. 
take this, bring it up a little bit, there we go. Ah, so this can be a faded in, this can be faded in, this could be faded in. Uh, cool. So we'll do that double lead in. Okay. Um Question high, hello. Come here, give me some high. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I just want to go back to that da, 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 just to give some 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 fill to this. Yeah, I think that's gonna work fine. Yeah, that's working right. Yeah. Yeah, that works. That does loop fine. Pretty seamless. I'm happy with that. Let's see here. Yeah, that looks pretty well. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. What do y'all think? Is that working for you? Um, thank you all for being here today. That's about all I'm going to do today is uh, that's the complete track. So uh, what I'm going to do is I will go ahead and um, I will give it. So that sounds great. That's the ending. Um, yeah. Any thoughts? Let me know. <sighs> Glad to have that finish. Glad to have that finish. I'm so excited to be hanging out with you all. Thank you all so very much for being with me today. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, streaming it some more maybe on Monday and doing some more um, live music Monday. Could become a thing maybe. I'm not sure. Um, but I want to be basically working through this pack over the next month and writing music for it, and that's the plan, is to live stream each and every step of the way, and it'll be a lot of fun. So thank you all again for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, much more active stream today, so I definitely will be letting people know on Twitter. Uh, you can follow me there, see Wolf Music. You can check out my SoundCloud. I have about 360 tracks of music on there. Uh, Charles Wolf Composer on SoundCloud, and you can check out my, uh, of course, you can check out my website, charleswolfmusic.com. Um, if you want to hire me, you can. I'm always looking for commissions. Commissions are always open, so hit me up if you need me to quote for you. What it'll cost for a soundtrack. I charge by duration. It's all relatively free. You just pay me for my time, and I write the music, and then you can use it, and you don't owe me anything in the future. So no matter how amazing successful your game is or not, 
it doesn't matter. It's uh, that's not a problem. So uh, you can uh, hire me, and it'll be amazing. So work on the music, bring it to the next level. Um, very happy to say most of the games I've worked on have been quite successful and have gone on to do really, really well. And I'm very happy to be part of the team, making it the best that I can. Okay, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Menacing and urgent, very much. Thank you, thank you. I really enjoyed you all being here. Hope you all have a great rest of your day. Take care. You too, uh, Dino Prison, take care. Thank you, Miss Mountain Fox. Really enjoyed the process of writing the music and working on it together. So I'm going to stop there. I will see you all later. Take care. See you.